These right here are the Light in Motion Via Pro Automatic Lights. They turn on when you start riding, they turn off when you stop riding, and they have ambient light sensors on them, so they change light modes depending on how much light there is. So do these Light in Motion Via Pro Automatic Lights significantly improve the riding experience and make cyclists safer, especially for the price of $100 for the set? Let's find out. What's up, I'm Zach Alardo. Life is short, but don't make it shorter, so be sure to ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous. And subscribe for more fixed gear videos just like this one every Thursday and Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific. The lights that we'll be talking about today are linked in the description, so feel free to check them out at any point during this video. For headlights, there's two main types of lights. Lights to be seen and lights to see. And of course, lights that illuminate the entire road in front of you will be more expensive. With bike lights, when you go up in price, you also get weather sealing, USB rechargeability, and a decent battery life, say two hours on full blast. So for $100 for these lights, you should be getting lights to see, USB rechargeable, weatherproofed, the whole shebang. But the headlight via Pro is only 250 lumens, and the taillight is more accessible at 100 lumens. So what exactly makes these lights so special? Well, of course, the main thing is that these lights are automatic. They turn on and turn off when you start and stop your ride. They also have ambient light sensors in them so they can detect how much light is in the environment. And according to how much light there is, they'll either brighten up or change patterns. So you can theoretically be as safe as possible without ever having to push a button. For instance, the headlight will pulse during the day and it'll be at full blast at night. Something else that makes these lights a difference is that they are USB rechargeable, but they are cable free. As you can see, they just directly plug in via USB and they'll charge that way. So for $100, you can get a really good set of lights that will illuminate the entire road in front of you. Lights that are meant to see, but at 250 lumens for the headlight, you're not going to be seeing much in the road ahead of you. So let's talk about the pros and cons of the light in motion via pro combo. The main draw to these lights is that they're super simple and easy to use. Part of that is that they are just a direct USB to charge them. This has actually been one of my favorite things about these lights because it just makes fiddling around with cables a non-issue. Another great thing about these lights is the battery life. I actually haven't had these lights die on me yet. The most that I've used it on one charge was about two hours on full blast at night. Battery life is definitely a strong point on these, but it's still a good idea to get into the habit of charging your lights after every ride so you're never caught at night without them. Another unique feature are these mounts. You plug in the USB end, you give it a quarter turn, and it's set to go. This has been the least fidgety and most easy to use mount system that I've tried. Another pretty nice thing about these lights is that they're small. They don't take up too much handlebar real estate, and when you're off the bike, they're easy to carry around. The automatic feature can be nice. They can make the riding experience more seamless, and the fact that they change according to lighting conditions, it does save a bit of battery life. When you spend more on lights, you're mostly looking for more brightness. And these lights just don't have that, especially for that $100 price tag. At that price, you should be getting lights that are to see, not to be seen, like the Via Pro. And the automatic feature can be nice, but sometimes you just don't want it. In my experience, it just hasn't been reliable enough to make these my everyday lights. During some of my rides, the headlight would just turn off. I live in a neighborhood where a lot of drivers treat stop signs as yield signs, and when I was going home one night, the headlight turned off while I was crossing through an intersection, and I almost got T-boned by a truck. That's not what lights are for. <laughs> because they're automatic, you just don't have as much control as you would with a light with a button. At some ride lights, if I wasn't really moving much, the lights would turn off. And because of that, I had to rock my bike back and forth just to keep them on. Not exactly a seamless and simpler riding experience. Because they're automatic, they'll turn off if you pull over to the side of the road for whatever reason. I said this in my last review of a different automatic light, but it's not hard to just push a button before your ride and after your ride. And again, with the Light in Motion Via Pro, I feel like that they're trying to find problems for a solution. Some other cons is that while the mounting system has been the easiest and the most convenient that I've used, they are limiting because they just 
plug directly in. That means you can't clip them onto a backpack or messenger bag. Some people like to just clip on their taillight to a bag so they don't have to swap mounts between bikes and it also gives a more visible angle. Speaking of angles, the taillight just sticks out like a sore thumb and even at that it's pointing downwards when you mount it on the seat post. You can mount it on the seat stays, but I found that it's not as stable. And on top of that, you can't adjust the angle with the mount. Mounting it on the seat stay gives a better angle, but it's less stable. You can mount it on the seat post, but it gives a terrible angle but is more stable, so it's really a compromise. The light and motion Via Pros just aren't compelling enough for me compared to the competition. The lights that I use every day are also 100 bucks for the set, except they have a button that you have to push. The tail light that I use though is also 100 lumens, same as the light and motion, but the headlights is where things get interesting. 250 lumens or 1100 lumens same price when i'm buying lights i don't necessarily care whether it's automatic i want as bright of a light as possible so i can see as far as possible ahead of me with my light that i use every day it's a night rider lumina 1100 boost i can see the road in rural areas i can descend pitch black mountain passes and i can see broken beds of glass in the city before i ride through them the same can't be said for the light and motion via pro with this 1100 lumen night rider i can use it in more situations and it gives me more freedom to ride my bike the way i want to 1100 lumens 250 lumens same price when it comes to bike lights Brightness is king, and for the asking price of the Via Pros, they just can't compete. Let me know what your favorite lights are and what kind of conditions you ride in and how dark it is out there for you. Let me know in the comments so we can help people get the lights that they'll need to stay safe and visible at night. And Fixie Famous shoutouts to Michael Rector, Alistair McCullum, Matt Ford, Ozzy Verto, Connor Kerrigan, Merrick Dravecki, Robert Terpstra, Blue Tick Hound 16, Evil Ernie, and Jazeel for making these commuting and fix your videos possible through the support on Patreon. Life is short, but don't make it shorter, so be sure to ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.